and good evening, Rochester wrestling fans. Welcome to another action-packed episode of Upstate Pro Wrestling's Uprising. Live from the studio, I am Big Sean Kramars for Upstate Pro Wrestling, ready to tell you about what you are going to see this week on our flagship show, Uprising. Ladies and gentlemen, last week, as you saw, we started to dig into the historic feud between the legendary H.C. Loke and the King of the North, Carter Mason. You saw last week uh, how these guys have been exchanging wins and uh, how we ended up with a situation where we have dual um, UPW heavyweight champions. So this situation rolled on and got much, much more personal as things went on. So this week, we're going to delve deeper into this and get to the point where we finally were able to unify these championships at... Christmas chaos in 2019, folks. So, but we're going to start it off uh, with a 10-man tag where you see the personal tensions between Loke and Mason really come to a head. Now, this 10-man is from the Upstate 8 in the year 2019, and it features the likes of some of UPW's finest, including your captain Nick Ando, Coconut Jones, so many more names, folks. But the biggest thing here is watch how this feud between Carter Mason and H.C. Loke develops and how you see things really take a deep personal turn in this contest. And then after that, folks, we're going to go uh, to the match that was for all the marbles back at Christmas Chaos in 2019. The unification match, H.C. Loke versus King of the North, Carter Mason. The winner will be the undisputed Upstate Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. What a week of action, folks. Let's get to the ring and get things started. I will see you guys at the end of the show. Thanks again for tuning in. See you in a minute. When you become the heavyweight champion of the world, you expect for there to be a target on your back. And on November 9th, when UPW presents the Upstate 8, I'm going to be on a five-on-five -five elimination match. Team Carter, Carter Mason against Team Loke. And I know i got to be ready for anything. Is who am I bringing with me November 9th? I'm bringing people that I trust, people that I've been to, war, been to war with, people that I have known their entire career. Cheech, Cloudy, I battled them 15 years ago in Ring of Honor, and they gave me the fight of my life. Nick Ando, I had to go through him twice this year to get where I'm at now. And I barely got there because that's one tough son of a bitch. And last but not least, a person who's had my back this whole time, a person that's proud to call me her trainer, and I'm proud to call her my student, Cameron Black, the toughest son of a bitch out there. I'll tell you. That when you bring people to war, not everybody's coming back, Carter. Do you guys understand that? Do they understand? Or Ever since Restival, I've had this feeling deep down in my core. This filthy, disgusting feeling. This feeling like I sold my soul. And look, while I want to blame you, the truth is I have to blame myself. When you extended your hand 
for no other reason but to pat yourself on the back, get your little moment. I knew right then and there that I should have slapped it away and smacked you in your face. You disrespected me. You disrespected the fans. You disrespected that new belt that you're about to get. You didn't win clean. You didn't win fair. You cheated. And then you had to make a moment for yourself. That's not what champions do, Loke. Now, you chose your team rather quickly. And in my opinion, that's a mistake. I did some research. I contemplated my decision. And I found people that want to beat you up just as badly as I do. First, I choose Robbie Vegas. A man that I know you know quite well. Second, I choose Coconut Jones, a man that's been in that company since I came in, a man that I respect. Third, I choose a man who, like myself, just wants to hurt someone right now. I choose Matic. And it's no secret that I have ties to the Lucha Libre community. Hell, my home com company is the man Lucha, so I chose someone that's going to make me feel close to home. La Sombra Negra. Loke, I'm coming to take back my soul. But I'm also coming to take yours. I'll see you next week. before the end of the year. Was well, September at Rustable. H.C. Logan went home being the UPW Heavyweight Champion. And that's where it leads up to tonight's event, which is the main event. Which is a uh, team Loke against Team Mason. The very man he won the championship from. I call him a, I, I like to call H.C. Locus the Stone Cold Pitbull. Definitely a good fit. Correct you, Mr. Commissioner Man. No, you suck! If you're gonna step in my <laughs> ring in my house in Rochester, New York. That is one hell of a belt right there. One hell of a belt. Congratulations, H.C. Loke. And here, here we go. The, the King of the North has arrived. Carter Mason. Team Mason is Carter Mason. Rockstar Robbie Vegas. Coconut Jones. The Lion of the West Medic. And Lissandra Negra. You can 
to see La Sabra's uh, family is picking up one whole side of the building once again. This place is electric right this now. This is going to get loud, guys. This is electric. You can cut the tension with a knife right now. The blow horn you've been hearing all show tonight, that's La Sabra's family. So uh, if we, if there are times where you can't hear us because the crowd is too loud, blame it on them. Oh, my goodness. You know, I hope this building is constructed as well as it should be because it's going to be put to the test here shortly. I'll tell you the what, if I'm the referee, just wait for the three count. <laughs> well, the match has started and it's gone full force here. Carter Mason and H.C. Logue found each other. Everybody beating the hell out of each other right now. Ugh. Oh, it makes it sound like they're almost stuck alive from Logue. Oh! Back, Lufez Press. Getting across the port, taking it to Logue. We did see a lot of respect shown between Carter Mason and H.C. Logue. After oh. Logue went home with the belt. Comic Festival back in September, but they are taking it to each other now. Yeah, then, team, then Team Carter Mason, Team Mason taking over is Cameron Akasha Black. Is uh, you see her on the outside of the ring. Holy cow! And the two captains are left. I hope that uh, Team Mason is aware of Cameron Akasha's black finisher called the Cape Fear Fist. Because that would knock anybody to their back. And there's H.C. Loke doing a smart move there. And Cloudy coming in the ring. Going face-to-face -face with the King of the North, Carter Mason. And just a few months ago, we saw Cloudy face off against Carter Mason. Oh, Carter Mason trying to get into Cloudy's face there. Say, let's go. Here. Are we going to get a clean break? Oh, Carter switched it out. Chop to the chest of Cloudy. Wasting no time, man. What a chops by Carter Mason. The look of determination on the face of Carter Mason. Former UPW heavyweight champion. Quickness of Mason is amazing. Cloudy got caught there. Tries to the barricade on the outside. Oh. Is that foot stop on the apron we've seen in the past? Carter Mason in firm control over Cloudy right now. Crossbody to Cloudy on the outside. And here's the thing, you gotta stay focused in a match like this. When you, when you have an opponent down, you gotta you gotta stay on them. Carter Mason playing to the crowd right now. That that's an absolute mistake. I don't believe getting the crowd support is a mistake as long as they don't waste enough time doing it. Well, it's, it, it all matters in which time and how long it takes. Because I've said in the past, there's amazing things that, that crowd support can do for a competitor. Yep. And uh, it's that, just that, that add of motivation can really help you at times when you're down and out. And here we go. Rockstar Robbie Vegas tagged in. H.C. Loke now in the ring. It's, I mean, I can't get over how loud this crowd is right now. Bringing the house down. You can down. feel the intensity. You can, can feel the animosity, the tension here between all these competitors. This is why this match was scheduled for the main event. This is why the whole show is based around this match right now. And I'll tell you what, uh, La Sombra Negra got a taste of a H.C. Loke forearm as he knocked him off the uh, ring. Welcome apron. to the business, kid. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Robbie Vegas oh, takes a boot to the, to the stomach. Job knocking Robbie Vegas to his backside. AC Logan is so methodical in what he in, in what he does. Yes, he is. You heard a few minutes ago. It took him 25 years to get that title. He's been in business for 25 years. He's fought everybody. He's beaten everybody. Knees to the chest in the corner. 
that is a awesome, number three. Awesome Rockstar. sequence of moves there by Rockstar Robbie Vega. Over the cover. Imagine that if Loke had gotten the, the uh, if Loke was pinned right there and beaten by Vegas. All that show for Team Loke if the if the leader of the team got eliminated first thing. I'll tell you the guy that could bring them all together is Cheech. Bring them together? I don't, I don't know about that one. What's he like? Hey, hey, yo, oh, hey, hey. Let's get together. Hey. <laughs> Coconut Jones. Double foot stop to the back of Nick Ando. On the roll. Coconut Jones taking the, taking Nick Ando to the limit right here. Oh, you're caught. Uh, oh, atomic drop. And the guy that has probably the best entrance to music of anybody, Cheech, is in the ring. When, if and when La Sombra Negra gets in this match. Oh, it's going to get crazy. We're not going to be able to say one word. You may not be able to hear us. No. I'm just saying. Yeah. The guy just stands on the apron and the whole side of the arena goes nuts. You know, I could have really used that type of family support when I was wrestling. Well, I'll there's a Sombra Negra in, showed up. in the ring right now. Crowd is just electric right now. Summer Day with a headlock. Shoulder thrust to the midsection with Chiefs to the Summer Negra. Oh. Oh. What a job! Oh. Oh, by La Sombra Negra. I'm glad we positioned the table and our equipment opposite from the other side. If we're anywhere over we're close over there, there's no way you hear us right now. Oh my God. Cameron oh. Akasha Black. Cameron Akasha. No Limits champion. Oh, this is interesting. Cameron Akasha Black looking right at Maddox. Okay, now you talk about you talk about two people that'll just beat the hell out of each other. Absolutely. All night long, she will not back down from Maddox. No. Putting on a show right now. Tommy knee drop. Insecure to the back of the head of Cameron Akasha Black. And it rushes it. All got caught. What a so boot. Time. What a boot to the face by Cameron Akasha Black. Oh. Oh, they both had the same idea. Yeah, I'm not sure who gets up at the best of that one. Oh. You're talking about two titans uh, head, 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 go, 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 going into a head-on collision right they there. Were coming, they were going full force as well. Captain Akasha Black, tags in Cloudy, rocks out Robbie Vegas for, for Team Mason. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What a move. Cheech getting thrown out of the ring right there. Cloudy missing with the right. <laughs> to protect the Nick Ando from Robbie Vegas. I just caught Nick Ando's tooth. Oh my God. Oh, Rockstar Robbie Vegas going for the cover. Oh. Broken up from Loke. Saved Cloudy right there. Oh, 
Body in the corner. Vegas charges in. Got roll up here. How to use the ropes. Oh, fantastic. Got the move. pinfall over Robbie Vegas. Vegas is now eliminated. Oh, stop it's crying. Five on four. Stop crying, Team Mason. Come on now. Oh, come on. That wasn't fair. Hey, this is hey, th- this is about getting wins and losses. This isn't about this isn't about I the rules. I would love to see your old little hobbit ass in that ring and see what you say afterwards. Hey, what can you say? Bye, kiddo. Have a nice night. The Sombra Negra. Oh, what a move! Nice move for Sombra. Bulldog clothesline. As Cloudy showing the crafty veteranship in pinning rock star Robbie, Robbie Vegas. Oh, H.C. Loke. So methodical, so... Such so a experience. And that's a great move by H.C. Loke. Fantastic move. But distracting the referee. Hey, it's all about winning this match. Once again, Chief Tactics using the tape off his wrist to choke La Sombra Negra. And look at the veteranship of H.C. Loke. Such a so so crafty in the ring. It's definitely that. Oh my God! The blood going to the head, rushing to the head of oh, La Sombra yeah. Negra right now. Oh, brings him down. <laughs> what a suplex! What a suplex! Oh, what a kick out by La Sombra Negra. Get out on two. Is Cameron Akasha Black taking La Sombra Negra and rearranging his face? Well, his mask anyway. You know, I, I would have to think that anybody who faces up against Cameron and takes any of the strikes that she delivers would be guessing why they're in this business. I said like Ando is now taking on Los Sombra Negra. I'm telling you. And we discussed on Nick Ando earlier. He's got some anger issues as of late. There, there's been frustrations built up to the final maximum point. And he's just causing pain to anybody who gets in his way. And right now, that's the Sombra Negra. Hey, when when the young kids are given every advantage and pa- they're passing over a veteran like Nick Ando, I would I would I would be looking to take advantage of the kids too. If you would ask me if Nick Ando deserved to be in a student battle royal, I would have said no. He's above that. But to take it on a Matt Lawson is what it called for. Hey, you gotta make a statement. Gotta make a statement. He celebrated somewhere. with him for like five minutes and all of a sudden turned on him. Stopped the crap out of him. Pile drive his head into the canvas. For what? To hey. take it on a kid who fought through the whole thing. Hey, fought you know, his ass off. Hey, you know what? That that's when you look. Oh, wait a minute. Who's. Wait, that's Matt Lawson. It is. The same man and Nick Endo cost a loss to earlier. The Upstate 8 tournament, round one. Sombra oh, Negra. Negra. Oh, brings it again, crashing down. 
Good for you, Lawson. Oh my God! The Sombra Negra eliminates Degano. I'll tell you what, that's a return receipt by yes. Matt Lawson. Well deserved. Degano deserved that, but I gotta tell you what, it's only gonna get worse. Hey, I'll he's tell you. Anything to Ando is gonna make it worse. Coming right back. Oh my God! This is between Lawson and Ando, this is well, the Sombra Degano. Negra just got knocked out by Kevin Akasha Black. And he's been eliminated. Oh Eight my fair God! Fist. I warned you guys earlier. Watch out for that. I think Lissabra Negra is out. So make you regret being in that squared circle alone, being in the business. Wow! Oh, Coconut Joe's straight forward spear from Coconut Joe's. Go! Wow! The three eliminations in like a minute. Came with Akasha Black is now out of this contest. <laughs> this match is nuts right now. It's down to three on three. Oh, Cameron Akasha Black taking Carter Mason off the ring apron. And Team Mason, you got Carter Mason, Maddox, and Coconut Jones. Now against HC Loke, Cheech, and Cloudy. Wow. Oh, Maddox going right at HC Loke with the referee. He wasn't tagged in. All double team now on Jones. That's on Maddox right there. Maddox caused that. Whatever. Here's Cheech. Kick out from Jones. Gotta reach for the tag the mag. And here we go. It looked like Logan and, and Cloudy was trying to tell Cheech to tag him in, and he kind of brushed him off. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, tag the low. Oh, Cloudy and Cheech? Uh, maybe the little animosity there? Uh, between the old team known as uh, Up and Smoke? You know, hey, maybe, uh, you know. They had faced each other earlier in the year. They have, yes, they have. The tag Team Con, actually, that was one year ago. That was upstate eight tournament. But you know what, though? It, there's no need for that right now, you know? Oh, what a close line in the corner by H.C. Loke. Oh. Here's Cloudy. But no, there's no room for animosity in these teams. So much is on the line. It's, you know, it's at, it, this this match is at an epic pitch right now. Everybody has to be focused. You, yeah. you know, if you have to tag somebody in, you go ahead and tag them. Take the, take the animosity. Let, let egos aside for the moment. Exactly. But they go through so much. There's got to be so much flying through the head. Every second they're in there that... Oh. Can't always think straight. What an elbow, my God. That's why you try to work out that game plan and stick to it. Do anything you can do. Fight for your life. Oh, see? Cloudy tagged to Cheech. Cheech, of course, going for a cheap or a Cheech tactic. The foot over the throat of Coconut Jones. I see what you did there. That was, that was, you like that, that right? That was good. That was good. Oh, what a chop. Jones trying to fight back. Got cut short. Oh, okay. Well, there's a Shot tag there. The yeah, working together here. <laughs> uh, so, All right. Whoa! Oh! A couple, a couple drop downs there. Miscommunication there by Cheech and Cloudy. That was, that was about Cloudy to happen. Yeah. Okay, yeah, wow. There you go. All right. Starting to see some miscommunication between the former tag team right there. Yeah, slightly. Double team action here. She jumping over to the apron. Cloudy got pushing the Cheech, knocking him off the apron to the floor. Coconut Jones, oh. putting Cloudy inside out, crashing down face first to the canvas. As Cloudy collided with Cheech. Can Jones make the tag to one of his tag partners here, Carter Mason or Maddox? Maddox has been itching to get in this match. Line of the West. Serious clotheslines to Cloudy here. 
Uh, European uppercut in the corner. Comes back in. Another European uppercut. And just, a third. A, just a series of uppercuts by Maddox. <laughs> uppercuts and forearms. He just spiked Cloudy. Cloudy able to kick out on the count of two from the cover yeah. of Maddox. Oh, wait a minute, Maddox. But he, oh. oh, Jeff from Cheech from the outside. Kicking Cheech into the barricade. Cloudy sent him up there. Dropped a hold on the ropes here. Oh, wait a minute. Now here's Cheech. Former team of up and smoke working together here again. Whoa! Trips to the outside from Coconut Joe. It's pulling Cheech to the outside. Back, oh, bring oh. Cloudy down. That's it. Got off! Cloudy's been eliminated. Oh, there's the HC Loke. Don't turn your back. Oh, oh wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh, was that close? Oh, my goodness. You never turn your back on HC Loke. So it's now three on two, I believe. Yeah. Mac, Coconut Jones, and Carter Mason. Four team Mason. Going against Team Loke of HC Loke and Cheech. Look at Carter Mason. He's itching to get in there. Bouncing up and down. Oh, yeah. The, on the ring apron. Oh, my goodness. Two titans in the ring right now. Here comes, Absolutely. Here comes Cheech. Vicious kick from Cheech to the head of Maddox. Followed by some shoulder thrust to the midsection in the corner. Inside and out into a cutter. Oh, Cheech didn't know where he was right there. Who would after that? Oh, what a chops by Maddox. Maddox to the chops the chest of H.C. Loke. And Porter sends him off. Caught by a big kick. Loke here. Oh, back oh, oh, oh. To get Maddox, a man of his size. To go over on a suplex like that takes brute Such strength. Such power. Oh, oh my low. God. That's why he's a pit bull. Oh. Clothesline. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I think he knocked Maddox out. You gotta, that's the only oh, way wait to wait get Maddox to lose is knocking him out. Coconut Jones. Oh, flying knee. To the jaw of Logue. And there's a veteran HC Loke right there. Roll yourself over to the corner. Unfortunately, he got met with a kick. The kick from the apron from Jones to the face of Cheech. The field goal is good. Getting distracted, though. Got caught by Loke here. Uh. Oh, there oh, it is. Rip cord. And Jones is out. What a clothesline, my God. We got two. Carter Mason is down to the team captains right now. Oh no, Cheech is in it as well. Oh my goodness. It's a one on two. Oh. Carter Mason not paying attention. Not paying attention. You got two individuals, one in front of you, one in behind you. How can he? You got to you got a hand of your head on a swivel in a match like this. Come on. Oh, double team here. Oh, 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 oh. You know, former UPW heavyweight champion Carter Mason. You're not gonna beat him like that. Showing the fight. I 
would think if Carter Mason, if Carter Mason is able to overcome all the odds in his contest and and win here tonight in this main event, how would uh, you got it? You have to think that that would put him in contention for the UPW Heavyweight Championship once again. You would think so anyway, right? You, you know. Think. Got a roll for Mason. Oh, he got all. He got cheap. It's now one to one. Team captain against team captain. H.C. Logan versus Carter Mason. Oh, he, got, he hit the clothesline. Oh, my God. Wow. He kicked out of it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't think Logan got that fully as he normally does. I, he's knocked people out on less. He has. I've seen him turn Carter Mason inside and out with that clothesline. Oh, my God. I mean, we've seen people you know, fight through a match, but to survive that clothesline right there, holy cow. That that ripcord is like no other. That is such a vicious, the force he has behind that move. For Carter Mason, a kick out of that. 25-year veteran with so oh. much muscle behind him. My God. Some people prove with age, and that is H.C. Loke. Right now. The older uh, he gets, the tougher he gets, the bigger he gets. There's no quitting that man. H.C. Loke has Carter Mason in a bad way right now. Carter's in. Got caught from the boot. From Mason. Super kick. Super kick to the jaw of Loke. Let's be it. And yeah. Oh. Wow. Congratulations, Carter Mason. The king of the north. Team Mason comes out on top. What a match! Uh, Carter Mason, you've just won the main event here at Upstate 8. Uh, it wasn't for the new uh, World uh, Heavyweight Championship of the World, but uh, I do gotta ask, what are your plans for Christmas Chaos? My plans for Christmas Chaos. My plans for Christmas Chaos were my plans that I had tonight. And tonight, Loke, I told you I was going to take my soul back. But I told you I was going to take yours. That's exactly what I did. I overcame your entire team. Now, Christmas Chaos? December 6th, right? Yes. Christmas Chaos is going to be very chaotic for you, Loke. <coughs> because on December 6th, it'll be you and I in a bull rope match for the UPW Heavyweight Championship. How's that sound? That sounds pretty exciting, and I can't wait to see that. But you're actually can't. This guy, this is Christmas come early. This I'll say this, Carter Mason, you've seen a lot more intensity out of Carter Mason lately since losing the UPW heavyweight title than I think I've ever seen before. Team Carter did beat Team Loke one month ago right here in the same building. Yes, they did. As Carter Mason got the win over Loke. As they were down to one versus one, captain versus captain which gave Carter the opportunity to now uh, attempt to regain the heavyweight championship. And there he is. King of New York, UPW heavyweight champion of the world. Upstate Pro Wrestling's Pitbull, 
for sure. I mean, I thought their, mat, their two out of three falls match at Restival, that was going to be the match of the year at UPW. We might have the last match of this year be the best match of this year right now. Right now, Carter Mason just looking to get at HC Load. Yeah, Mason is ready to go. He's oh ready to fight. You Let's know get what? the rope on. And Fans, if we didn't catch on, this is a full rope match. It will end in pinfall or submission. But that full rope means they are tied together by hand. And they have a bell and cowbell in between, which can be also used as a weapon throughout the whole contest. A very, very dangerous weapon. And it, and like I, oh, it has I, sharp edges. It can cut you like a sharp blade. Ed, yes, I said, you know, I said on Twitter, it's a very easy case to get blindness from a bull roll match. It's, you know, hey, it, it's not a Red Rider, Rider BB gun, but it'll take your eye out just the same. Well, I'll, and this is probably where the, uh, well, really, I don't know who has the the experience advantage because once you're because once you're a former champion, you run the gauntlet yourself. I will say, though, there, there is a, a bit of a history that H.C. Loke does have with bull rope matches. I can go into that a little bit later, though. Well, the, that does play a huge part in this, though. I, I, will, I will say that. And uh, for you squeamish fans at home, um, be aware you may, you may see blood in this contest with that cowbell being a factor. Absolutely. <laughs> These two know each other so well at this point. They've had two out of three uh, pinfall comp uh, matches. They've had five on five matches together. Uh, these two know each other very well at this point. And this could be one hell of a main event for Christmas Chaos. You know what? And uh, so how much time do you have left here? Because this could go all night. I'm just it saying. It could. It could. Good thing I took the night off. And, uh, <laughs> I'm ready. Oh. I wouldn't complain if this match went into the next decade. And we can take turns using the bathroom. Whatever. Keep it going. <laughs> this is like a, a, an NHL overtime uh, game here. Just could go on for hours, hours, and hours. We know these two can seem to go forever. They do. They do. Oh, trying to set the chair up in the corner. That's a very important factor. It's, I can go in more in, in a... Not waste any time, but straight... Oh! Reverse Irish whip into the chair goes low. Oh, my God. They did not waste any time to bring the weapons into the match. You know what? This one tied between them, but... Why waste time? Use whatever you have at your at, at, at your disposal. At this point in the rivalry, who would waste time? Both competitors wearing uh, wearing boots. They're uh, definitely vicious with every kick. I'll tell you what, man. H.C. Loke, the viciousness that he has in his game is un, is really unfathomable. But Carter Mason himself, even taking this match, really shows it really shows me something about him. Nothing means more to Carter Mason than the UPW Heavyweight Championship. into the ring post. You know, and that's the that's the that's the dynamic of, of the bull rope matches, you know? Mm. You can't run. And you can't hide. Right. There's ways of using leverage to hurt people in ways that you just can't expect if you haven't been in a match like it. Not that either man, either opponent ever ran from one another. They've been facing no, that no. on for months now. No one's hiding around any corner. Oh, oh here we go. As you see here, Carter Mason wearing basically Timberlands work boots, uh, cowboy boots, one from HC Lowe. Now, 
That's the, that's the more classic style, the cowboy boots for an old cowboy bull rope match. No, the slappy is... Oh! oh. <laughs> As Carter Mason slapped the hand you away from each other. over here? Well, you don't, oh. Jay, but uh, Russ sees me. I'm, I'm cringing over here. I felt that one. Oh, my God. I know the pain that uh, Carter Mason is feeling. Although it wasn't cowboy boots that kicked me there. Oh, man. Oh, what an elbow. What an elbow. And such a technician is H.C. Loke. Every move is just, you know, textbook. It's not there. No. Oh. Kick out on two. H.C. Lowe confirmed Got control. Got hold of that cowbell. Wait a minute. Oh! I'll tell you one thing about that cowbell. If you get hit too many times, you will start to fear the Reaper. The whole bottom rim of that cowbell is very thin and edgy. It's it be, sharpened. Yes. It can be used as a blade and will cut you. Uh, he's got... Oh. H.C. Lowe using the belt. Little championship shot to the skull. Oh. Mason. Cowboy boot over the throat, Mason. Man, what a show, guys. Oh, my God. Absolutely. What all action. Build, all building up to this contest, the main event. More than that, what, what a Heavy year. Championship. Just what a year of UPW. It's just been amazing. Yeah, better fire. Oh. 2020 is going to be insane. And it all starts January 11th. Yes, it does. Wrestle Bowl. Oh, what a job by H.C. Oh, got a Mason with a job. Back here. Back and forth, back and forth. The king of the north and the, and the king of New York going tooth and nail here at UPW's Christmas Chaos. There's another chair. Setting the chair in a sitting position. Wonder who has in mind here. What a right hand by H.C. Lowe. Right now, Carter Mason, he's, he's got to turn this around. And soon. Oh. <laughs> right hand again. Wait a minute, there's still tension yeah. that bull rope. Oh. Something like this, you could you could uh, dislocate a shoulder, tear it out of its socket. Oh. Cutter Mason over the top rope to the apron. Almost stopped to the midsection, grinding those work boots into the midsection alone. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Cutter Mason over the top. Oh. Cross body. What a move by Carter Mason. Looking down at H.C. Loke. Oh, Carter Mason showing some strength right there. Rolling Love back into the ring. To the squared circle. Into the corner. Oh, Carter Mason with a neck breaker is low suspended from the second row. Oh, go over the a, cover. Oh, oh what wow. a what a Man. move by Carter Mason. Almost uh, almost took his belt back, but oh man. HC Loke. The look of intimidation on the face of Carter Mason. Oh, you can die. What a close line. Oh, 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 my God. 
The look on H.C. Logue's face, he's in disbelief. Now, Carter Mason is the only competitor we've seen able to kick out of that maneuver. Oh, my God. You talk about a guy that really that really, uh, that really, wants it. Carter Mason. Holy cow. There's nothing more that Carter Mason wants in this world than a UPW Heavyweight Championship of the world wrapped around his waist. But the man he has to go through to get it is like no other. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Right inside of the cowbell to the skull, of Carter Mason. Oh my the God! Top of the eye, and that, that's that's very important for you guys who can see. If you get bleeding on the top of the eye, can it, it, it fall down almost like like a James Bond movie in the start, and it can cloud the vision. And what a right hand by, by H.C. Logan. For the squeamish fans who may be watching, oh God, if we see blood, we'll try to warn you. You know that that's the kind of move that. The AC look he learned from the mechanism just the road. Wait a minute. He, he I believe I've seen a cut on the top of the forehead of Carter Mason. Here comes Carter Mason though. He's standing up. Oh! Oh! And a couple of right hands by Carter Mason. A couple forearms. Here we go. Oh, what a knee! He has this burst of energy now. It's the adrenaline that can pump from, from blood getting lost. But as that goes further, as the mass. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Back first over the chair. Look at the condition of that chair is in right now. Oh my god, just destroyed that Still chair. Able to kick out on two. Oh my god. What a move by Carter Mason. And he's looking Man, at the referee like look at that chair. He's looking at the referee in total disbelief. He cannot believe that KC Low kicked out of that move. No one can believe it. I don't think H.C. Lope can believe it. We are in shock right now. Oh, what a rivalry this has been. Carter Mason looking on the ring for something here. We're all to the other side. We've seen cables, we've seen bull ropes, we've seen a lot of things. Why not a door? Or two. Well, what is going through this young man's mind? Carter Mason still digging? Nope. <laughs> oh, he's got the belt right here. Return oh. the favor from earlier. Using the belt as a weapon as well. Right now, H.C. Loke. He is in trouble right now. He is he is maybe inch moments away from losing the Upstate Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. I can't imagine trying to move around a ring with your opponent tied to you. We've noticed uh, one of these competitors to go for a move and that rope is dangling around our feet and you never know if it's going to trip them or what. It's such a factor in the right, here, match. Here we go. Finally, he's got his doors set. Carter Mason just looking down at AC Loke. He's squaring him out here. Kicked out of chest. With work boots, nonetheless. Oh. Another one. That is so much added weight to those kicks. Oh. Oh. HC Low catches that leg. Hand to leg is wait, wait, wait. to the face. Got to no. Go. Wait a minute. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Right through the door with the fisherman suplex. Oh, oh, oh my God. That's got to be it, guys. Who's going to kick out for something like that? One. Two. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mason, that's who. Oh. Wow. Man. <laughs> Through the door. Every match has built up to the main event, and this has been worth it. Wow. Through the door. Man. Wow. 
I've been wanting to talk about the past, the past history that he's had in, in Bull Row matches. Nothing in the past can compare to this level of action. Carter was able to move all the way just in time. Bring another shot. Oh, he hit him in it. And the ropes came back on him. Oh, he's got him up on his shoulders. Oh, he couldn't hold him up. Oh, a return of favor. And the kick is good. Oh, my God. The other door. Okay, we see the uh, doors are open for Carter Mason. He's been knighted. Oh, oh my God, God. you got to be kidding me. Just a hair away. He's inhuman. They're both inhuman at this point. They are both inhuman at this point. We are not witnessing a battle of men. We are witnessing a battle of gods. Uh, it has been stated from these two. It's nothing but respect. They don't hate each other. This championship has been the whole reason why these two have been colliding. It's all over the fight of the Upstate Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. This is what that championship means. This level of carnage. Normally you see a cowbell coming to effect, doors coming to effect, tears coming to effect, if there's hatred involved. These two do not oh. hate each other. It's all for this championship. H.C. Low getting choked out by, the, by Carter Mason with that bull rope. He had to hit him a couple times with the chair just to get him off him. He's still holding nothing back. Oh, this is this is what moments like this. This is what moments are made of right here. The the last match in 2019 and UPW, and we are treated to one hell of a bout right now. Closing out the year <laughs> with a. Match is going to go down in history here at Upstate Pro Wrestling. Oh my God! Not see you closing out the decade with a match for all decades. Oh my God! <laughs> and it may be about respect, but let's but let's face it, there has to be some animosity between these two to even have a match even remotely like this. And there it is. If there wasn't an animosity going into it, there's some now. You can't throw someone through a door without hating them. Oh, and so there, another there one. There has been cheap attacks from these two. There has been something from behind. There has been an attack hey. after a loss or a win of a match. These two have just been going at it. And who wins, who wins, who loses, goes home. But then they, they keep going it, at it for the for the sake of the championship. Being around their waist one more time. It is. Oh, well, again, he uses the bull rope. He used the cowbell. One, two. Here it is. Uh, it. Champion retains. I'll tell you what. Amazing match. You know, you may not like H.C. Lowe. Some may not respect him, but you have to give it up to the man for what he's done. And if you don't like him, do not tell him. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. There you go, Dave. It's your job. Yeah. All right, wrestling fans, that is it. As, ultimate, as Upstate Pro Wrestling presented to you, Christmas Chaos. I am David J. Keller, Russ Vicencia, JJ Newhouse, saying good night, guys, and hope you enjoy the show, and we'll see you next year in 2020. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, what, an, what a week of action here on Upstate Pro Wrestling's Uprising. Thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in to relive some of Upstate Pro Wrestling's best moments each and every week here on Rochester Television Outlets. Folks, we're going to be back next week with lots more action. Stay tuned, folks. Normal time, normal place, Upstate Pro Wrestling Uprising next week. But, you know, I I've been thinking, folks, with this pandemic and everything going on, I know folks are out there looking for a way to support Upstate Pro Wrestling and Flower City Wrestling Academy. And if you're one of those people, I have a very easy way for you to get that done, folks. Simply log on to ProWrestlingTees.com and search Upstate Pro Wrestling and or Flower City Wrestling Academy. And you can get some awesome t-shirts where the proceeds go right to keeping tradition alive right here in Rochester. So make sure you do that if you're so inclined, folks, and we would greatly appreciate it. But until next week, I'm Big Sean Kramars for Upstate Pro Wrestling. Thank you again for tuning in. Take care of yourself and each other. Up.
Upstate Pro Wrestling's Uprising is produced by the Close Fist Podcast. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.